This kid already sells his own workout program on how to get fit. Fitness guru, age 10. Is it healthy? He looks ripped though. He looks very ripped. The 10 year old fitness guru with washboard abs. His name is CJ Center and his body is amazing. Is there such a thing as too much? He's there. Who, other than Justin Bieber perhaps, could get this kind of rock star welcome from the grade school set? It's a surprise appearance by their pint-sized celebrity trainer. Everybody seems to know him. Know him and goes crazy. Today's the first time they've ever met him in person because this Check is how he's trained them. Down, up, jump, zero, repeat. So this guy creates his own workout videos. At age 10. Yeah, I mean, this could be us. I mean, he's a blue shirt guy, you're the red <laughs> yeah, shirt this is guy. Us. What? Wow. CJ Center is the workout kid, a pint sized fitness guru. Pint sized? Pint sized meaning. Very no, small. Sir. Don't do him dirty like that. He looks phenomenal. Yes, especially for his age. He's 10. One, two, three. That's an eight pack. Okay, so how many blocks you have here? It's genetic. He uh, probably has some very good genetics. But he also has a very low body fat percentage because we can see the abs. How many of these do we have to do? Whenever you get tired. Oh, yeah, he's got oh. the right mindset. It's about challenging yourself. He's been on the fitness kick for half his life. He started at age five. I've been training for five years. That's half of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him after puberty. I mean, those are the guys that right now we're looking at, like, yo, know, his physique is a bit sus. People are gonna say he's unnatural. Yes. Do you eat candy? Well, I eat candy, but I don't eat a lot. That's good, though. So he gives himself the treat sometimes, but like 80% of his diet is clean. So this guy seems to be very knowledgeable and also make the right decisions. But as the title says, is it healthy? I think there's there's a but here. There's also concern now about kids training and dieting like Olympic athletes. In my practice now, I've seen a doubling of injuries to young kids age 10 or 9 or 8 with overuse injuries because they're doing more now. 50,000 likes, eating cheeseburgers all day is fine, but having abs is a problem. There you go. The last few weeks I've lost about 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Why does he say it like it's a very negative thing? He said like, yeah, unless I lost 10, 10, 10 pounds, I, I, I can't find them anymore, like I lost. <laughs> They're already going towards the negative sides of Over this. Overtraining. Overtraining. Overuse. I want to see where this goes. I have my thoughts, but I want to see where this goes. Yes. Were you heavier before, chubbier? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Were you chubbier? Like, of course, I was lost 10 like... Pounds. Kid, I lost 10 pounds. Reporter, really? Were you happy? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, these are young kids. Yes. I like those big muscles. I like those big <laughs> muscles. <laughs> Every doctor we spoke with about CJ agrees. What he's doing is better than playing video games four hours a day. There you go. That's my thought as well. It's better than the opposite. There's yeah. a lot of pros about starting young as well. Like a oh, lot yes. of pros yes. in terms of strength, flexibility, uh, getting just used to movements and being able to actually do more later on when you're older as well. How much is too much for a 10-year-old? The guidelines we have are kids or children can work out up to an hour per day, and that means mixing water breaks every 15 or 20 minutes. That seems good. For extreme mini-athletes, physical damage can be layered with emotional harm. Parents were putting on an excessive diet and exercise program. That's the other side, right? Parents pushing their children. I think that's what a lot of people are thinking about, that parents are pushing kids to be a high performer. Maybe they don't want to. CJ. He used to want it. He does the good things. His workouts are like just body weight movements, like natural movements. Getting a kid active, I don't see any problem with No. It. It's sad that people automatically think that his parents are making him do all the exercises. You can see clearly that he enjoys what he's doing. This one just screams all positivity. It, it wasn't anything that he set out to do on purpose. Um, just with exercising and really just normal play for a child. That's the thing. Exactly. This is a result of just being active. He has also good genetics. Like his yes. genetics look insane. Is it healthier than gaming the entire day? 100%. Is it healthier than an average kid that does a bit of exercise? Yes, as well. I yes. think he's doing even better. Yes, of course. CJ did it the old fashioned way with calisthenics. There you go. I also have to say the CJ kid looks so confident. Yeah. Like he's. He knows exactly what to do. I think he's doing a great job. But there's another 10-year-old strongest kid in the world. Last year, I got the American record for squat and bench. What? Okay, this is some different type of sports, though. So he is lifting weights. Yes. 
heavyweight. My name is Jordan Micah. I'm 10 years old and a powerlifter. Powerlifter. 10 years old. I first got into powerlifting when I was much younger. What? Okay, what? What am I seeing? That was that had to be fake. That was a real weight. Jordan has three siblings, much older. His oldest brother is 26. 23. Basically a powerlifting family. So probably he got inspired by his siblings. His deadlift was 187 pounds. 85 kg deadlift at 10. Wait, what? How is it? What the f***? Wait. Hey, but he's working out for four years only. Like, hey. This looks like a prank video. This looks fake. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I normally lift. I get off school at 3.30, so I'll have about like two hours to do my homework, and then I either play video games. I don't know what to think of this, because no. he seems like a regular kid, and he seems to enjoy this sport. Like a hobby. It's really heavy weight, especially for him. I mean, he's, he's, he's breaking records. Now we're getting into territory where injury is up for debate, and especially at a young age. I work out in my garage, which is completely transformed to a gym. Being a dad and trainer has to be a good amount of balance. I think I have it easy with regards to strength training. Outside of one or two competitions a year, there's no real go, 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 push, push, push. Okay. That's good. So we'll start our workout with a warm up. Jordan will do about 10 to 15 minutes on the treadmill. So they are real planned out workouts. Yes. Are they clippers or not? Jordan has become so experienced. He understands the technique so well that he knows how much weight he can lift while still maintaining excellent technique. There's no clips. There's no clips. There's the dad to catch him every second, but still. So, but yeah. Yeah. Good. We're moving on to bench press. He's gonna get a set of five. It looks like he, he sort of really wants this, right? And he really and, and knows what he's doing. I find it hard to say anything against this because it looks very controlled. The dad is there every single rep. Obviously, this is for a video and they know the cameras are rolling. It all looks very controlled and his form looks great. Yes. And he seems to enjoy it. Very good. This good. I, I mean, my gut feeling says that there should be something wrong, but I don't find the evidence here. Not in this video. Yeah, he's always joking around, having a good time, having fun. That's but good. I will say when it's game time, it's all focus and determination. He knows how to flip the switch when it needs to be flipped. I might want to become like an Olympian, like if they ever bring powerlifting. The benefits of starting off so young is that he will be better than his counterparts that start later. Of course, his base is extremely strong. And these are the people that actually make it to the Olympics because they started so young. And these are the people we cheer on because they are so good. People have the thought of like, this is almost not good, right? Why is he doing this? Well, that's almost all athletes at the Olympics. He seems to be happy and he really wants to be at the Olympics. I, I really hope he gets there. Yeah. Let us know down below your thoughts on what is still a healthy amount of exercise. There's a lot of debates about what is healthy. We made a video about this, which is also about a controversial topic when it comes to fitness. Check this video out.